Welcome back to our online resource for viola players. Today we're going to revisit our grade one piece, Fiery Fiddler, and we're going to focus on learning the next eight bars, but also thinking about our descending D major scale, making sure we get a good solid sound in tune, and also a little bit of practice on those crossing of strings. And we'll do a little bit more work on our dynamic contrast as well. So follow the video and good luck. On the left hand side of the page you'll see three symbols that we learnt in our last lesson. Can you remember what they mean? I'll go over them in a couple of minutes. Much of the music in Fiery Fiddler requires you to control your bow whilst crossing the D and A strings. This takes a bit of practice. Just pause the video for a few seconds to practice long legato bows across the two strings, focusing on making a really good sound. Remember your chicken wing controls the string. If you look at the two pictures below, you'll see the difference in height of the elbow. The low elbow would mean an A string on a viola, and as the elbow lifts, you'll move to your D, then your G, and finally your C string. Try and practice this movement between your D and A strings. We're going to practice our D major descending scale, so get your third finger on your A string ready and follow my instructions. Three on the green. Two on the yellow, first finger red, rock it on A, three on the D, two on the yellow, first finger red, rock it on D. Don't forget you can rewind the video to practice that again. We're now going to practice that string crossing again. So we're going to start on the A and change to the D four times. I'll play it first, you copy it back. After I've played it, I'll count you in. One and two and. Your turn. One and two and. Now we'll try it the other way around, starting on the D and going up to the A. Same thing, I'll play it first, then you copy it back. One and two and. One and two and. Spend some more time practicing that on your own. Here are the answers to those three symbols. Did you get them? Mezzo forte means medium loud. The repeat mark means we repeat the section and the two over form is our time signature it tells us that there are two beats in a bar in this instance. I've also put on the picture from last time of all the different dynamics that we might come across. Just have another look at those just to familiarise yourself with them again. If you look in the middle of the page at the bottom, I've put the start of the music we're going to be looking at today. What dynamic is that? Check the diagram to find out. Our music today starts with that descending D major scale. So we start third finger on the A string and we go three, two, one, open. But in between, we've got our open D. That's why we did the string crossing practice. So it will sound like this. Try that with me. So after two, one, and two and if you need to practice that some more just pause the video rewind and try it again here we have what we've just played written down as musical notation you have your high d third finger on your a then your open d then your c sharp which is your second finger on a then your B, first finger on A, and then your open A, and all the Ds are in that third space up. Have a go with the video one more time on this page, just to have another practice. One and two and. If you need to practice that some more, just pause the video, rewind and try it again. In the next two bars of music, we'll swap the strings around. So we play the G, F sharp, E, all on the D string. So that's third finger, second finger, first finger. 
and then in between those we play our open A. On this one you'll need to lift your fingers off the D string when you're playing the A string to, a squ to avoid any squeaky notes. Just note at the end we also have first and second finger on the A string so we don't go down to open D. So now we carry on down the D major scale with third finger on D swapping with the open A. Don't forget to lift your fingers off the D string. Do you notice at the end I put that first and second finger on the A? Shall we try it together after two? One and two and. Again, just rewind to have a practice if you need to. Let's try putting bars 9 to 12 together now. The music's on the left hand side of the page. Have you noticed the dynamic marking? It's F for forte, meaning that we've got to play it loud. Okay, so I'll play it through. I'll count as in after two. Again, if you want to stop and practice and then come back to the start of the video to play it with me, you can do. Here we go. One and two and. Have a practice, come back and play it with me. The next two bars of music start in exactly the same way. Practice this on your own again for about 20 seconds and then move on to the video for the last two bars. So the last two bars start exactly the same again with third finger on the D, but our last two notes are slightly different. See if you can spot the difference. One and two and. Did you notice the difference? I did an open D and an open A at the end instead of first and second finger on the A. Shall we try that together? Have a look at the music as you play it with me, slowly after two. One and two and. Again, if you need to practice, just rewind the video. Here are bars 9 to 16 written out. I'm going to play it now with the repeat and I'm going to play it forte. First time around, follow the music as I play and then I'd like you to pause the video so that you can practice this. Then rewind the video the second time playing with me after the counting. One and two and. So pause the video now, have a practice, and then rewind and play with me. So here we have the first 16 bars of Fiery Fiddler. I'm going to play it to you now. I'd like you to have a little bit of a practice afterwards and then rewind the video again and try and play it with me. Don't forget the dynamics and don't forget the repeats. One and two and. Pause the video, have a practice, and then try that with me.
Now you've almost completed our lesson, why not enter our cross school challenge? Answer the questions based on this video and find out if you were right and score points for your school. The link to the challenge is in the description section below this video. If you need to pause the video for more time, please do. Your scores will be entered into the Nottingham Music Hub school scoreboard. Let's see which school comes out top. For those using PowerPoint, you can also follow this link to the challenge here. Well done for completing today's session. We've now learnt the first 16 bars of Fiery Fiddler and we've learnt how to play with different dynamics, mezzo forte and forte. And we've also spent a lot of time learning how to control our bow across two strings while making a good even sound. So well done. In our third lesson, we're going to finish the piece off and then we're going to try and put it together with some backing tracks at different speeds. So just to remind you, you can rewind this video anytime and keep practicing with me or without me. That's absolutely fine. And I'll see you next time. Bye.